Hey everybody, I'm Casey from CaseyFriday.com and if you've ever thought about having French press coffee, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's take a look at what we've got. Right here we have a Bodum French press. Now this is for a single serving of coffee. It's about 17 bucks on Amazon. You can see a link if you want to check it out, look at other pictures, use reviews and whatnot. It is glass. Can't really hear that, but uh, the top, this portion comes out. This is called the plunger. And as you see, it's got a little filter on here. Um, let me zoom in so you can check this out. It's got a little area where the coffee goes through. Basically what the purpose of this is, is to keep the grounds at the bottom of the French press and to let all the delicious coffee stay at the top. This is my favorite coffee. This is Pete's Major Dickinson's. So let's go ahead and look at the process of making French press. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is get some water and as you can see I've got my Brita um, water purifier here. In order to get the exact right amount I'm going to remove the plunger from the French press and I'm going to pour the water up to about the level of coffee I'd like to make. I usually don't do a completely full um, fridge press worth because the grounds are going to take up a little bit of space in there. But you get that to a desirable level. And the next thing you're going to do is boil that water. Now a lot of people want fancy gizmos to boil water, but all you need is a nice pan. Got this from Ikea. And you just fill that water into the pan. And our next step is going to be boiling said water. So we come over to the stove. We're going to go ahead and get this thing lit up. The maximum setting and we're going to get ready to boil our water. All right as you can see here we're getting some beautiful boiling water. Look at that stuff bubble. Let's go ahead and get over the next step. All right so our next step is going to entail taking some of our favorite coffee and it needs to be ground so if you have not ground it already that'll make this process even more fun for you. What I suggest doing first as you open this bad boy up and just mm, take a whiff. It smells awesome. So what you want to do is I get two rounded tablespoons. So just take a normal kitchen spoon and make sure you get about this much. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can check that out. You know you don't want to get too much more than the, the uh, tablespoon itself, but then you'll go ahead and place that in the bottom of the French press. Try not to get any on this top area because you're going to be pouring out of there soon. You don't want to get coffee grounds in your coffee. And then I take another slightly less rounded tablespoon of delicious peats and you can see that right here. And go ahead and deposit that into the Bodum French press machine. And the next thing we're going to do is get our boiling water which is ready to go. And as you can hear, it's very hot. So we're going to take this and pour it into the French press. Beautiful. Now this is the steeping process. So what we'll be doing here is taking our spoon, get stuff out of the way. We're going to stir the coffee. Stir it to the right, stir it to the left, stir it front ways, stir it backward ways. Just get it nice and mixed up in there. And once you are happy with the consistency, you don't have to stir it too much. Make sure all the grounds are off the bottom of the French press. Take your spoon out and you're going to place the plunger right at the top of the French press and just press it in there. Now you want to make sure it's right on top of the coffee right there but don't press it down any further and this is called the steeping process where the coffee gets absorbed into the water and becomes one. So we're going to let this steep for about five minutes and I'll be back to you at the final and most fun part of this process. Alright so here's the absolute best part of the process. What you're going to do is take this plunger, put your hand on the ball at the top of the shaft and press down slowly Go ahead and plunge all of the sediment down to the bottom of the coffee. Now as you can see what we're doing, this plunger here is pressing the grounds down to the bottom of the French press. And now all we have is delicious coffee 
in the top section. So let's go ahead and see what that final result is. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Smells great. The flavor is infused perfectly with this French press technique. And this is the best coffee you can have without leaving your house. And if you're drinking Starbucks, it might be the best coffee you can have even if you are leaving your house. Because this pizza is delicious. So there you have it. Got your French press coffee ready to go in your favorite mug. And I'm going to take a sip. Mm. So why brew coffee with a French press? That's what I asked myself at first, and then I did it. And I discovered that French press, the Bodum that I used to make this, cost $17. So you think, am I going to be making my money back over the long haul? Well, if you go to a normal coffee chain, you'll probably pay between $1 to $2 for a regular cup of coffee. And if you want anything fancier than that, it's probably going to be about 2 or 3 or $4. So if you're thinking, am I going to make my money back in the long haul, if you're only going to go out to coffee three or four times in your life, then no, you're not going to make your money back. But if you're going more than that, you're definitely making your money back. Because when you buy coffee ground in the bag, it's much cheaper and easier to access at home than it is if you're going somewhere else. And if you're thinking, oh, just use a drip maker, it's easier, that takes all the fun out of it. I mean, part of coffee is you open the bag, you smell, you smell the beans or the ground coffee, whichever you prefer to buy, and it smells delicious, you heat the water up, put the grounds in the French press, pour the water in, you're part of the whole process, and then you're not just drinking something that beeped at you when it was done making it. You're actually drinking something delicious that you worked towards, and you created this excellent beverage. So, if you're wondering why you should use French press, it's because you just really shouldn't drink coffee any other way. There's no reason to use a drip maker unless you're really lazy, and, you know, unless you want to serve lots of people, in which case I say get a bigger French press. This is Casey from CaseyFriday.com. Enjoy your coffee.